watching Cincinnati's WLWT News 5, leading the way. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth when you watch this video. This is the city that you work in and live in. Norwood police taking a stance after cell phone video of this attack surfaces. So the fight happened just moments after a community church festival. Now, police are saying this kind of behavior is just simply unacceptable, and they began cracking down today. Several of those teenagers in the video that you just saw, they are now under arrest. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa has more on the arrest and reaction from Norwood. Tonight, investigators say three teenagers are here at the juvenile detention center and more are on their way after this beating. Norwood investigators say they will not tolerate this kind of behavior in their city. You're watching what Kim Watkins recorded in real life. It was disgusting. It made me sick. It hurt my feelings. A 13 year old boy surrounded by a group of kids in Norwood. Suddenly, punches and kicks are flying. Six against one. It's cowardly. It, you know, it, it's uncalled for. We don't want to see any fights anywhere. The beating went down after the Holy Trinity Church Festival on Drex Avenue. These same kids were harassing my kid that same day. Today, Norwood investigators say three teenagers are surrendering. Three more will go to police over the weekend. They're all charged with assault. It puts Norwood in a bad light. That these things, kind of things are acceptable and they're not acceptable. So we don't want to make an example out of these kids. We're just going to enforce the law as it's written. Investigators say the victim coming forward. Plus, the parents of the teenagers involved in the beating played a big role helping detectives. These parents stepped up to the plate and called the police department and basically want their kids' actions. Uh, they want to be held responsible for their those actions. The victim escaped with a minor head injury. I'm happy. I'm glad, you know, that, that justice is being done for that little boy because he did not deserve that at all. Investigators tell me the teenage victim did not fight back because he plays for the middle school football team and he was afraid of getting in trouble. Reporting from the Hamilton County Juvenile Detention Center, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. Well, investigators are saying it took about three to four days to identify the teenagers after tips started pouring in. 50